Welcome, welcome everyone. Ben Legacy back here in the house with you guys. You already know what time it is. So, it's been a crazy fucking weekend. This past weekend, there was a lot of, it happened to be a lot of gun shootings for some crazy ass, re crazy ass reason. I'm not kidding you. Every day in this world gets crazier and crazier. And the primary one that I'm sure we all heard about is the one where they have the 18 year old. 18 year old goes to the grocery store and starts blasting people. Black people in specific. Drove two hours, mind you. Two hours. Two hours. Who drives two hours to do anything? Like that's, you know, and plus you got some time to fucking think about it too. So this was well thought out, well premeditated, very hateful. He goes into the grocery store targeting blacks, straight blasting people. Boom, boom, boom. I think he had an AR-15 or AR-45, I want to say one of the popular guns for mass destruction. You gonna get got with an AR-45, trust me. And he had it fucking, mo uh, he had it uh, modified as well. Shit's crazy. I ain't gonna show any of the video whatsoever on this channel of him blasting people, but there are video, cause he, he, um, he live streamed the whole damn thing. Like the dude in um, Australia or New Zealand or some shit like this. This is a crazy white boy right here. And we ain't trying to pick on no particular race, but for some odd reason, it always ends up being a young white male who believes that he's going to be replaced. How? There's way more of y'all in the United States. Far from being replaced, bruh. And that's where a lot of this was based off of too. A lot of people saying, oh, t t he got his rhetoric and he got his, uh, uh, he wrote part of his manifesto based on what T Tucker Carlson from Fox News has been spewing. In one way or another, he's, he's managing to get across to these young, uh, young white minds, impressionable white minds, males, to do some damage. I mean, he's the microphone for, you know, those hate groups, KKK, whatever, white nationalists. He's like a big microphone to them. For some reason, he doesn't see that. But no one's being replaced. That's where all this got based out of. And bro, if you don't call, why are you killing black people? We, we, what, we 13, 14% of the population. What the fuck? You, I mean, there's not even more of us. So what are you talking about? What seriously are you talking about, Doc? That shit was crazy. Dude wrote a whole manifesto. So this is smart. People people have talked about how smart this guy, how ingenious is he? How ingenious he is. Shit was crazy. Dude had been to the stove before. I forgot his name, but I'll put his pick up and put his name up and everything. Um, up on here so everybody in the world can see this. We ain't trying to give no notoriety. We just trying to put a face with what happened. And please, please rip to the victims. Rip to the victims. Oh God. Innocent people going to get some butter. Going to get some bread. Straight blasting. Can you imagine that? Think about that one time. Take a minute and just relax. So you wanted to go to the store. Okay, we go to the store all the time just for innocuous things. And then before you know it, the last place on earth, you know, the grocery store, for God's sakes, one of the last places on earth, you getting blasted. Whoa. You dodging bullets. And it's not like the people who died, it's not like, and 10 of them were black, mind you. I think 10, 10 or 11 of them got killed, something like that. Hell, more people were uh, were wounded and shit like that. But he specifically targeted black people. And don't tell me that racism doesn't exist anymore. Do not tell me that. Don't tell me racism doesn't exist no more. I don't want to hear that from these uh, right wing folks and because uh, it's right here in your face. 2022, baby. 
2022. This shit's right here. Motherfucker wrote a manifesto. He feels like he's being replaced by blacks specifically. So he went to Target to kill blacks because they are black. Because of the color of their skin for who we, who they, who they were born to be. I'm black. I'm black as a black. I'm black as a ace of spades. I cannot change fucking this. The fuck does the world want, want from me? I'm a black male. We strong. We're dominant. We cannot change this. It's up to each one of us to change ourselves and the perception. But going back on this killer, this pathetic loser, this scared, insecure little boy, a little bitch ass, I tell you, to do this. Little bitch ass. You didn't even give people the chance to fight fair. You didn't even give people the chance to fight fair. That was some straight bullshit, man. Oh, God. And I don't promote violence, but goddamn. You know, he get to, he's sitting there in court, and, you know, just sitting there all calm and he ain't got a scratch on him. You looking at him. Somebody should be able to, the family member should be able to blast his ass in the goddamn face. Just have him put his arms around. Just hit him in his face a couple times. Just get a couple good ones. Nobody's killing him or, or hurting him. But so he feels some pain and then sit your ass down. I don't know what the laws is over there, but bruh, man, capital, you know, capital punishment, dog, on this. Crazy story. So this this young man, this 18-year-old cat, this cat went to the sto store to kind of on some recon shit. Because, you know, when he did all this, he was dressed up in all military garb, the helmet, the glasses, the whole fucking nine. You can Google this and see this bullshit for yourself. This dude looked like he was in fucking Ukraine, in the Ukraine and Russian war. But anyway, it's crazy because um, the day after this happened, some bullshit, they, um, they interviewed this big black dude and he says he was sitting there talking to the dude for a soft hour, hour, hour and a half or something, hour 45 or whatever. They was talking about critical race theory and like how life begun and all this other bullshit. I'll let him say it. Here you Brady go. Lewis, you were in that tops earlier this afternoon. We're going to get to that story. Uh, but you told me just a few moments ago that you actually spoke with the suspect yesterday. He was here. Tell me more about that. Um, I seen him and he looked strange in the neighborhood, but he had a genius shirt on. So I wanted to see if he was a genius. And we sat and talked about stream theory, critical race theory, uh, the beginning of civilization. And and he seemed like he was a genius, actually. Uh, he said he came up just to see the countryside and um, he was gonna go out camping. He bought a, a big thing, a jug of water. He had a little nervous twitch to him. I bought him something to drink and we sat and talked for about an hour and 45 minutes after seeing the pictures and seeing the blue car that I seen him got into um, yesterday. So it's a shock right now. And he told me his name was Peyton. Um, so it's a shock. And we did see a blue car get taken away from yeah. this scene just about a half hour or so ago. And you were saying that you were speaking with him on a bench that's located outside of this tops. Yes. That's the bench that earlier today when I first got here, you were the first person I spoke to. You were telling me that bench is your office. Yes. And you usually like to stop and sit there and talk yes. to people that yes. are passing by. Today you didn't stop. Yes. So walk me through uh, your afternoon here at the tops. Well, I went in there and got me some um, a juice. And um, I didn't want to sit there today, so I walked across the street and I opened up my, my my juice. And as I opened up my juice, I heard what I knew wasn't a firecracker. And I looked up and I seen a guy shooting people. Then I seen a security guard run inside, and then I seen him going after him shooting. And I saw him come back out, and then I, he had all camouflage on and glasses and helmet and then he put the gun to his head and he dropped it he took off his gloves he took off um something um his gun he put it down he took off his vest and then um he got on his knees and laid down and put his hands behind his back and 
they arrested. Man, you gotta love the local news. They got some goddamn treasures and gems. See, I, I kind of like the local news a little bit better. You know, you could get some real poignant, relevant information with these local news opposed to like a CNN or or a Fox or some uh, Al Jazeera or BBC or whatever the hell uh, y'all want to look at because they're in the community. They're right there. They know exactly who to talk to. They know how to get there faster, how to, um, you know, they can approach the witnesses a lot quicker. These big, uh, these big uh, news media outlets, but there, I mean, you can find some guy, I mean, they found Prince. They found Prince a couple of months ago, for God's sakes. A little last news station in Minnesota was looking through some bullshit and they found little ass Prince. They stumbled upon a fucking gem. So, you know, these little news uh, reporting stations, they, they legit, they legit. And uh, like I said, this dude goes on, he says, uh, he actually, goes on and says he brought the dude a drink they talked about all this bullshit blah blah shoot the shit and next day blast it blast it but anyway i want to let y'all know man hate ain't the way love everyone like you love yourself and treat everyone as if you wanted to be treated continue to be strong we'll get through this as a human race family and this is why the aliens ain't gonna accept this out. God.